Hi, my name is Luke Martin. I am the Compliance Officer as well as the Registrar here at Southern States University. The reason why you would actually ever deal with me is because I am the one that's going to be enrolling you in all of your classes. Here at Southern States University, we choose the classes for you. However, you do have the option to change classes. Now, to get started, I want to go over a few different forms that we have here that are really required of you and are really important for you. The first form that I want to go over with you is the Catalog Acknowledgement Form, this guy. You'll be able to find these forms uh, if you go to the SSU website. There's a tab called Resources, and underneath that tab there is a list of forms. One of those forms is actually this Catalog Acknowledgement Form. This is just saying that you've reviewed the catalog and agree to be bound by the policies. This is a form that is required of you to be able to attend Southern States University. So we'll need that form right away. If you haven't had a chance to fill out that form, go ahead and do it right now. Locate the form. Again, it's underneath the resources tab on the ssu.edu website. Click forms and then click catalog acknowledgement. Sign it and then go ahead and email it back to your uh, academic advisor. The next form that I want to go over is actually the schedule change request form. Now again, this is a really important form. As I stated previously, we actually choose these classes for you based upon availability and based upon what is in the best interest of you. Now, sometimes we do the best that we can, but there's sometimes where you actually want a different course. No problem. Go ahead and fill out one of these schedule change request forms send it in to your academic advisor, and if it's available, we'll be more than happy to make that accommodation for you. The next form, Excessive Class Acknowledgement Form. This form is actually if you're one of those overachieving students, and I know there's some of you out there. If you are taking in the MBA cl program two classes, you're currently enrolled in a full time of study. However, if you decide to take anything above two classes, you will need to fill out this excessive class acknowledgement form, acknowledging that you are taking more than the full-time course load. So if you're taking three classes or four classes, this is the form that you would need to fill out. Simply fill it out and go ahead and send it to your academic advisor. It can be located no different than any other form at the SSU campus, which is underneath the resource tab slash forms. Next form is to petition for exception to a prerequisite. This form simply is a form that you will need to fill out if there's a prerequisite that you've not met. So if you are wanting to take a specialized course or a specific course that is has a prerequisite with it, then you'll be going to go ahead and need to fill this form out. However, Instead of sending this to your academic advisor, uh, you'll need to send this to the chief academic officer, who's Claudia Ariza, who you'll be meeting later on in this video, as well as you will need to submit a supporting documentation to prove that you have the requisite knowledge to be able to take this course. This form is an application to be able to take the course. It is not a guarantee if you fill out this form. Again, the Chief Academic Officer, Claudia Riza, will be the one that, to make that ultimate determination. Now let's say you're attending class and then for whatever reason a medical emergency happens or you are just tired of taking classes and want a break. Not a problem. You can go ahead and take a break after you have completed three quarters or one academic term. So again, you'll have to go for one, two, three academic quarters before you begin to take a leave of absence or a break. In order to do that, you'll need to fill out this request for leave of absence form. This form, again, can be found on the SSU website under resources and forms. Simply fill this form out and send it to your academic advisor. He'll be able to either verify that you're eligible for this leave of absence and we'll go ahead and process it accordingly or he'll be able to tell you you're not eligible and the rationale. Now, if for whatever reason this program is not working out for you, or if you are wanting to take an extended break beyond one quarter, uh, you do have the option to fill out a student withdrawal form. This form basically states that you no longer wish to attend classes and you would like to be removed from your classes that you're currently enrolled in. 
Make sure to speak with your academic advisor before you fill this form out because there are several different areas that could be problematic with filling this form out. Now, hopefully you won't need that form, but if you do, so be it. Well, let's say that you have completed all of your classes and you are ready to be done. Well, congratulations. You have now completed your MBA classes. Now you are wanting to graduate. Well, in order to graduate, there is an additional fee of $150 that will need to be paid in order to process your application for graduation. In addition to this $150, there is a petition to graduate form. Again, not a shock, but this form is going to be located on the SSU website under resources under forms. Go ahead and fill this form out. It basically describes what you are wanting to graduate from, such as the MBA program, as well as your contact information, as well as the most important part, your name, because this is the form that we use for your graduation diploma. So if you're graduating and you want your name spelled a certain way, make sure you spell it correct on this. Submit that and it does take 30 days approximately to be able to process because we do go through a third party and we custom order it. So once we have received the diploma, we will go ahead and send the, the diploma out to you. We will need to make arrangements prior to sending it out to you. Finally, the last thing that we would probably need to discuss is transcripts. If you are requesting a transcript, the best way to go ahead and do that is by email. Here at SSU, we require a written record of the request for a transcript. So the best way to do this is to simply email me. My email is L as in Luke Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N at SSU.edu. Please let me know that you would like a transcript and also let me know the address that you would want it sent to. Now we do not allow students to have PDF copies of the transcripts. We do have to mail you an original hard copy. However, we are able to make those accommodations as necessary. Well, it's very nice to have you here at SSU. We wish you the best of luck. And if there's anything that you ever need, feel free to contact me. Oh, I'm over here at the Fashion Valley campus. Email's best, but I also answer the phone. Thanks, bye-bye.